Merry meet everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I got some new oracle cards called the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. I saw these, I sort of thought that they looked really nice, so I got them. It's not been opened yet, let's open it together and see what they like. Again, these cards are really big, which is what I like in oral cards. Don't like those little ones. I like to be able to see the pictures. Plastic off. I've got. So here it is. And it's not going to open easily because it's a new box. It comes like this. With the card to protect them. It's a nice big book. So let's go through the cards. Oh, so far they're looking good. I'll just decrease this a little bit so you can see them. And this is the back. I really like that. It's nice. So this is Cunning Woman. Silent, observant and wily. Juria, healing, nourishment, and nurture. Sorceress, rituals, power, and will. Oh, and we'll start together. So, okay. Shapeshifter, Transformation, Primal Wisdom and Instinct. Hedge Witch, Herb Wisdom, Secrets and Hidden Law. These are beautiful cards. I love the artwork on these. Athling, Nobility, Grace and Gratitude. The Green Witch. Fresh new spring. Elven touch. Recovery, comeback, and revival. New cards sticking together. The wild hunt. Excitement, frenzy, and journey. How beautiful is this? I love this one. Astrild. Love, fire, sensuality and fertility. Ragnar. Destruction, ending, final moment. Freja, readiness, bounty, and plenty. The Elf Queen, introverted, burden, responsibility. Initiate, curiosity, open, and warm. The Wizard, Rune King, Wise One, Counselor. Looks like a bit like the Green Man in there. Soul Kin, Recognition, Family and Kinship. I 
Isa, stillness, pause, delicacy. And she looks very delicate. Look at that. Beautiful. These cards are beautiful. Elf struck, enchantment, beguiled, and spelled. The trickster, deceit, betrayal, guile. Just one second, there's someone at the door. Sorry about that, guys. There was no one at the door. It was just the dog barking at the wind. So this one is the Unseely Queen, Glamour, Opulence and Herbris. I have no idea what Herbris means. I will have to look that one up. Blood Month, Sacrifice, Offerings and Decisions. Oath. Promise, pledge, contract. Oh, got one in between, there we go. Friar, abundance, peace and contentment. The solitary, dedication, self-love and focus. The Weaver, Fate, Destiny, Word. The Merciful One, Compassion, Release, Belief. Salu, Vitality, Health and Energy. Oh, she's kind of cute. Look at that. The dreamer, visions, trance, and apparitions. Before the gathering, celebration, anticipation, and event. She who laughs, humor, perspective, and mirth. These cards are a lot prettier actually than they show you on film here. The Fairy Norn. Planning, Patience and Cooperation. The Fairy Godmother. Revelation, Discovery, Epiphany. Volva. Prophecy, Guidance and Direction. Oh, here's the green man. Initiative, fertilization, and action. Look at him. The life bringer. I think some people call her the green lady. Establishment, growth, and fulfillment. The Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting and Joy. The Maybon, Shining, Hope and Future. I think it's Maybon soon actually here in Australia. The Sigil Keeper, Symbols, Signs and Messenger. Love that. Look at all the symbolism in that. It's beautiful. The King of the Dark Elves. Authority, credibility, status. And the Queen of the Dark Elves. Premonition, foreshadowing and mystery. Arwin. Gift, divine inspiration an awakening. 
bliss, contentment, satisfaction, security, the golden unicorn, protector, guardian and champion, other world, veil, illness, transition. And the last one is the ancient, older, experience and lessons. Okay, so as usual, when we've got cards, let's give these a bit of a shuffle. If we can, because they're very new and stuck together. But we'll try our best here. Unstick. Oh, sorry, I'm bouncing the table around while I'm trying to do this. I can like shuffle them like that. All right, place in the middle, place to one side, place to two sides, place to one side, two sides, split in the middle, and the ancient. Wow. Elder experience and lessons. So what does it say about this in here? The ancient is so old she's beyond time. She's able to speak the truth without compromise. As are you. When this card comes to you, she is old, has experienced so much, learnt and taught so many lessons that she has become powerful and influential just as you're becoming too. As you're growing older, you're coming into wisdom. She knows that others are now going to come to you for advice and guidance and sees your humanity, your faults, your flaws, your feelings of unworthiness. She wishes to reassure you. She represents ancient ancient traditions and challenge of defining the self yet remaining within a tradition that you value and this is one of your challenges so take responsibility in your life you will face the battle of choice and you will be antidotal no and you will be an antidote to gurus and dominant personalities who claim they have all the answers so basically it's saying trust your intuition, trust your own judgment, trust that you know what's best for yourself. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Many blessings to you all and until next time, Merry Part.